Donald Trump campaigned for president as an agent of change, and it does look as if there's going to be change in a lot of areas under a Trump administration. One area where the change looks as if it's going to be real and probably controversial is in U.S. attitudes toward Israel and toward the Israeli-Palestinian dispute. Three very big straws in the wind on that front. One is that candidate Trump and since the election, the Trump transition, they've both talked about moving the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. This is a very hotly contested subject. Other administrations have shied away from doing this even after presidents have talked about this during campaigns because the status of Jerusalem is contested between the Israelis and the Palestinians and was always thought to be subject to a negotiated solution. Moving the embassy would be an irritant, to say the least, to the Palestinians. Secondly, it turns out the Trump Foundation some years back gave a donation to a West Bank settlement called Bet El. This is a settlement that is going to be under dispute in an Israeli-Palestinian peace negotiation. The financial contribution was made some years ago. The third straw in the wind was the nomination of David Friedman as president-to-be Trump's ambassador to Israel. David Friedman is somebody who's been active in the West Bank settlement community, has raised millions of dollars for the Bet El settlement, and who has said explicitly that he is not sure a two-state solution to the Palestinian problem is the right one. The Israeli government has said that's the preferred solution to the Israeli-Palestinian dispute. So we'll see how much these changes carry forward into policy after the inauguration. But right now, this looks like an area where there will be some shifts and maybe some significant shifts.